little book of fairy tales. Optimistic is better. There was a time when things in the Nightbird's Wood weren't going very well. Brown owls and barn owls lived along with other animals, but as their community was the largest, the wood was named after them. An atmosphere of pessimism that filled everyone had arrived. The nightbirds could no longer live together in harmony, and frequently quarrelled with each other. The mood of the nightbirds was always dark, and this made the situation much worse, creating further tension and anxiety. However, no one did anything to improve things. Nobody tried to change anything. The nightbirds were always complaining, and the way they did this infected the other animals, who no longer spoke to each other. Chaos had come. And living became almost impossible. One day, as soon as the sun had risen for the new dawn, an incredible thing had happened. All the leaves of the wood had gone, and the trees and bushes were left with their branches so bare. That they looked like skeletons. The night birds were very frightened, and, as well as them, the other animals too. They didn't understand what had happened, and above all, what they could do to resolve the situation. You couldn't live in such a barren wood. It looked like a deathly place. Then they began to look at each other in a different, more friendly way, and began to say things to each other. They all came to the conclusion that, to find a solution, they had to go and talk. With the wise blue-eyed oracle, their arrogance and the thought of being self-sufficient had become such that it had been a long time since they had asked anything of the oracle. Now they had decided to do so, also because there was no other solution. They chose a delegation consisting of two owls for the nocturnal bird community, and a rabbit to represent the other animals. The three headed towards the cave where the wise blue-eyed oracle lived. After a few hours of walking, they arrived in front of the cave. And began calling the oracle. He immediately came out and exclaimed, "What do my old blue eyes see? Representatives of the nocturnal bird community, and a rabbit coming to me. Ha ha ha." Why have you decided to do this? One of the owls replied, "Wise oracle, perhaps you know what has happened to our forest. 
It has become completely bare. It seems like death has landed in the place where we live. The oracle said, Death has not come to the wood, but to you wood dwellers. Your constant quarreling, pessimism, and arrogance have brought death into your hearts. The wood has adapted to the atmosphere that you have created through your behavior. You yourselves are the cause of all this. Just look at what you have become. You don't even talk to each other anymore. The owls and the rabbit flinched at hearing these words and said, asking, Oracle, you are right. Now what should we do? You have to start being optimistic again, and everything will come by itself, replied the oracle. Then he retired to his cave. The three messengers returned to the wood and reported to everyone what the oracle had told them. Everyone understood that they had to stop being pessimistic and let optimism enter their hearts. Thus they began to live with joy and light-heartedness. Then green and new leaves soon sprouted on the trees of the wood. Henceforth joy and serenity returned to the night bird's wood. <laughs>